There you go in downtown Longview. Not a lot going on right now. I don't expect rain to fall today, and we will continue to see those passing clouds here and there, and it's going to be very warm. Here are a couple of the current stats that we're looking at. It's already 47 degrees. Dew points at 44. Winds out of the south southeast at 8 miles per hour, and you can kind of notice that in the background right there. Wind speeds anywhere from 5 to 10. I do expect these to be at about 10 to 20 as we go into the afternoon, and that's really going to help drive those temperatures as we head into this afternoon and then into the weekend as well. We are in the 40s and 50s right now. It is 55 in Jacksonville, 54 in Tyler, 54 Mineola, 55 in Silver Springs, 49. That's the current reading in Mount Pleasant. You can see that temperature change over the last 24 or so hours. We are about 10 to 20 degrees warmer, even warmer than that in some cases. So you're going to notice that bite to the air, but it's not the bite of the chill. It's the bite of the warmer air. So be prepared for that, and it only gets warmer from here. Let's go ahead and talk about Futurecast. Again, I mentioned the clouds to you just a little while ago. We will continue to see a few passing clouds through the afternoon. Temperatures in the 70s through 3 o'clock. A couple of passing clouds overnight tonight, and we could see mostly cloudy skies by 7 o'clock for your Christmas Eve morning, but no issues for all the guys that are starting their Christmas shopping tomorrow. You're going to be OK. I can't say the same for the lines at the local stores, but you're going to be in the lower 60s nonetheless. As we head into tomorrow afternoon, temperatures widespread in the 70s. Those winds will really start to increase, hence those red arrows right there, and we will continue to see those warmer temperatures play a factor into our our Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and then by Christmas e Christmas Day morning rather <laughs> temperatures starting out in the 60s. We may very well be in the 80s before all is said and done Christmas Day night. 75 degrees. That's your high temperature today. We will be partly cloudy and breezy. And then as we head into tonight, look for low around 61 as we do track a few passing clouds, muggy and windy conditions. Now, over the next several days, we are looking for our next cold front. It does look promising that some of the models are indicating colder air by the later part of next week, which could kick off a few showers, but still unseasonably warm temperatures are expected late next week into your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day weekend, looking pretty warm with highs in the 70s. Now. We get this question a lot. I just showed you the temperatures for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Chances are we're not going to see a white Christmas. No for areas for um, areas to the west of Highway 69. They're shaded in the red. Definitely not happening and definitely not happening, but we're shaded in green instead to the east of Highway 69. Here are your next seven days. I've got our temperatures in the middle to upper 70s Thursday and Friday and then 80 degrees for your Saturday. We hit 79. Sunday, 76 Monday, a couple of showers around Tuesday and Wednesday. Deep East Texas, same story, just a degree or two warmer for the highs and a degree or two lower for the lows. Yeah, I'd say at least we've got rain, but I mean, really not really. <laughs> no, I mean, the rain chances, they're minimal at yeah. this point. I mean, the forecast, there's a lot of, I don't want to call it chaos, but you know, you kind of know what I mean. Mm -hmm. A lot of variability. In the, in the models as we head into next week. We right. could see a cold front Wednesday or Thursday. We might not see the cold front. There's been a lot of flip flopping. So big question marks as we head into next week. But one thing's for certain, it's going to be warm okay. over the next several days. <laughs> well, thanks, Carson. Maybe not a time to fill up your mug with hot chocolate, but uh, maybe not. 